season at Circuit de Barcelona. Season 2021 about to get underway with one or two cars already thinking this is the start of the race. Now! Goes to the inside, inside line, turn number one. Delatraz going for it. Roman Rizinov trying to move back again. Oh. Oh, and the mechanic stepped away and oh. put the wheel right front of the car. Oh. What about the dominance, though, of TWRT? Take victory at the first time of asking with Robert Kubica. Join us in a month's time. We'll see you in Austria. For the first time in three years, the European Le Mans series makes a very happy return to the Red Bull ring. Round two gets underway with the red lights out now. Big spin, huge accident to turn three. Another touch and off goes the 15 car. There's a second contact. Everybody's off basically at turn seven. The 41 car surely wins the lead this time around. He does. Team WRT, Louis Delatraz, Yi Fei Ye, Robert Kubica make it two wins out of two. European Le Mans series gets going now. That surely has been meant that the Ferrari is done. Surely it can't take that amount of abuse, Bill. The race lead for Nick DeFries. Our 01 is victorious in the European Le Mans series. A second win of the season then for the number 80 car. The number four car is going to win. And for the first time, DKR Engineering will be winners in the LMP3 category. The starters orders then for the fourth time this year. The red lights are extinguished and 42 cars will blast their way. Phil Hansen looks like he's going to be on the inside here and he takes the lead. Oh, there's a big wiggle there if they get around the outside. Good morning from the Ardennes Forest in Belgium at Spa Francorchamps. This circuit with so much history. At Spa Francorchamps, the red lights go out now. trying to go for a move around Jean-Baptiste La Haye. That was the scrap we were dealing with in full detail a moment or two ago. Stick, I think. Oh, will he? It's about where does the Aston Martin go? Down the hill, and he's back in front of the Iron Dames Ferrari. Great stuff. This is what we want to see. Close, clean racing. Hill heading towards Eau Rouge, to a breast. Don't go on then. Why not? We're around the outside. Got that out of. Can he keep clear of the tyres? Yes, just about. But he's going to lose the position, I think, because the better drive will come from the grid, which is Eau Rouge. He's lost it at Eau Rouge itself. Christoph Press has gone backwards. At 
one of the most fun circuits to be found in Europe. The end of the European Le Mans series is to be decided with round six here at the Algarve International Circuit. As the four hours of Portimao gets underway now. Sheets. He slipped to fourth position though with Manuel Maldonado on the inside and Rusinov loses another place in fact to Robert Kubica. Francois Perodo who's got a very good toe indeed. There's a prototype trying to get through as well which is the... There's a lead change in LMP3. Finally Matthew de Barbois makes it stick running into two. <laughs> oh, huge! Massive incident for Duquesne and also in a war against the A1 into the before we go any further, by the way, it is a red flag for this race. In straight to continue to build higher temperature. So the 24 car reacting to that as a change now for the race lead, uh, therefore, because Phil Hansen. And that's a hit again. That's a hit between the 83 and the 88. Yeah, another Sarah Bobe getting wedged between the sausage curve and the side of Francois Perodo's car. Oh, that was a big hit there. United Auto Sports car will be the final winner of the season and they will move ahead of two teams in the championship to confirm their automatic invitation. Thank you for your company all year long. My thanks to Graham Goodwin, of course, as always. I've been Johnny Palmer. We'll see you next year for another exciting season of the 2022 European Le Mans Series. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.